this video demonstration of impact reinforcement, I'm going to show you how to easily draw elevation or plan instances of reinforcement bars already drawn in a section. First off, I'll use the draw bar from object command to pick up a bar that I drew in the last demo. I'm prompted to mark a reference point. Hitting enter will give me the insertion point of the bar as a reference point, but I'll choose the lower left corner of the beam. Later on I'll show you why. When that's done, the draw bar dialog will show up with the settings for the chosen bar. Now I want to draw this in a plan view of the beam, which is located to the right of the section. I set up the view that I want for the bar by rotating it and dragging in the preview pane to rotate the bar to the top view. Now on the representation tab, I can specify the spacing that I want and click on quick distribution to draw the bar. This brings me back to the drawing where I'll define the extents of the bar by clicking on two points on the beam that correspond to my chosen reference point. The third point that I click will define where the bar will be drawn as well as the offset of the dis distribution line. I can continue it to add points to my distribution line if I wish, but now I'll just hit enter to finish the command, which will give me a nice plan view of my bar. I'll go through the same procedure with the other bar in the section using the same reference point that I had for the first bar. With both bars drawn, I'd like to show some more ways to change the representation of bars. The expand distribution line setting can be accessed either from the right-click context menu of the bar or the edit bar dialog. This will show all instances of the bars on that distribution. The distribution lines can be grip stretched just like they can be in regular representation mode. The placement of the first and last bars are by default set to half of the bar spacing, but it's possible to override this manually on the number of bars tab or the edit bar on the edit bar dialog. Also on the representation tab, there's a possibility to show the bars as solid objects. Now when we look at the beams in a 3D view, we can see the benefit of using the same reference point when drawing the bars as they are drawn in the correct Z elevation.